is up you guys, I'm Charmix today, I'm gonna be reacting to SML movie Jeffy's Sleepover by Super Luigi Logan. Now I haven't had a sleepover in so many years, but I, you know, when I was a lot younger, I used to have a lot of sleepovers. And they're really fun, they're, they're, they're a good part of my uh, childhood. But anyway, hopefully this could be hilarious, the original link's in the description, make sure you guys go subscribe to Super Luigi Logan, without any further ado, let's begin. Alright Crash, today we're gonna be learning Anatomy of the Eye. So first off, we have the square rock. It's the white part of your eye. And then, we have the poopo. Is that what it's called? The scarella or whatever? I don't know, it's been a little while since I was in school, so I don't remember everything. The poopo is the black part of the eye. And then, we have the iris. The iris is the color part of the eye. My iris is brown. It might be really hard to see, because I'm so Asian, and my eyes are so slant. Any questions, class? Just waiting for a joke like that. <laughs> oh, teacher, I got a question. Oh, yes, you, Dutch. What's your question? What would happen if someone took a fork and shoved it in their eye? Ah, yes. If you were to take fork and shove it in your eye, it would hurt really, really bad. And you'd probably go blind. Like, don't, oh my goodness. I would freaking put you in the hospital and it would make you blind. That's what it would do. Don't do it. But. You have two eyes for a reason. All right, Crash. Now let's move on to how we can use our eyes as a coin slot. Wait, what color are my what? eyes? What? Uh, <laughs> racist? No, Junior, your eyes are just black. You don't have Cody, I'm tired of you being racist all the time. Wait, Cody, what, what color are your eyes? Uh, hold on, let me take off my glasses. Ugh, boom, eyes of an angel. Uh, Cody, you don't have an eye color. Yeah, I know. What color is Ken's eyes? Uh, blue, which is also what he did to me last night. What, he... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. And uh, speaking of, I'm having a sleepover tonight. You want to come? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good, thanks. A sleepover? Y yeah. At your house? Yeah. I don't like your parents, Cody. They're weird. Well, I, that's the thing, Junior. My parents aren't even gonna be there. It's just gonna be me and Ken. Hey, I, I, have we even ever, like seen Cody's house before? And all alone. We need a third wheel for our tricycle so we can get rolling. I don't know, Cody. I don't, I don't really like sleepovers at your house. Oh, okay, picture this, Junior. Me, up to my neck in whipped cream, and you have to find the cherry. I do like cherries. Yeah. Why don't you invite Jeffy to the sleepover? Sleepover? It's not like any of the sleepovers I've been to. I have a sleepover. Mm, sorry, Jeffy. I was hoping it would just be me, Junior, and Ken. You know, four's a crowd, three's loud. Just have a menage a trois. I guess I'll go, Cody. Really? Oh my god, I, I didn't think you would say yes, but we have to get ready, Ken. Come on. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was d I'd rather stable my ball sack to my leg than go back to school. Don't say that, Jeffy. Daddy, can I have a sleepover? Wait, so he's asking for a sleepover, but he wasn't even invited really, though, right? But I thought Cody didn't want Jeffy to come to the sleepover. A sleepover? Yeah. With what friends? I have friends. Name one. Um, uh, you. I'm not your friend, Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy, fine, Jeffy, fine, Jeffy, Jeffy, fine, we're friends, we're friends, we're friends, Jeffy, but look, look, I'm your dad, so it doesn't really count, like, I'm talking about a real friend, look, if you could get one friend to come over and have a sleepover with you tonight, then I'll let you have a sleepover, okay? All right, Donna. I just need one friend to have a sleepover with me. Where am I going to find a friend? Oh, I know, I know somebody who will always answer. Who's it going to be? 911. 911, what's your emergency? Girl, I thought I told you to get dinner ready! <laughs> help me! Help me! Girl, shut up before I go and beat you with the bell! Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh my god, that's- That's freaking messed up, man. That's freaking messed up. Sounds like a crime. I'll be right over there, ma'am! Hello? Hey there. I'm responding to a domestic disturbance call I got a little while ago, and uh, I'm here to join in. You know, throw some punches? <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I'm actually just here to arrest some people. Oh. Well, that was just me. That was you? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. I, I thought somebody was really beating their wife. <laughs> Dawn. All right, so yeah, that domestic disturbance call we got was a false alarm. Over. Sorry about the walkie-talkie. They make me carry this thing everywhere to let them know what's going on, but no more prank calls, okay? Okay, I just really wanted to have a sleepover, so- Oh, so this, the police officer sleeps over with, uh, with Jeffy? 
It's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, he, he's probably in his, like, 40s or something, and Jeffy's, like, 10 years old or whatever. Can you? Oh, a sleepover, huh? That sounds like fun, but sorry, kid, I can't. Crime never sleeps. All units, all units, please respond. We got a shooting at a gas station. Over, we need all units. Oh, my God, it shots fired at a gas station? Uh, hold on, kid. All right, I'll be right over, and I'm, I'm bringing backup, okay? <laughs> all right, so how about that sleepover, huh? Okay. All right. Wait, so he's not gonna go? He's not gonna go? <laughs> Hey, Danny. I found a friend for the sleepover. Oh, you did? Who is it? Hey there. What? You can't say you've been beating on him. What? You think that's funny, huh? What if I started beating on you? Well, what's going on? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just here for a sleepover. What? Jeffy, you cannot invite a cop to a sleepover. Why, Daddy? He's my friend. He's not your friend, Jeffy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you saying cops aren't friendly? I are you saying I'm a dirty cop? Because I'm not a dirty cop. I took a shower this morning. No. You're pretty freaking dirty. I mean, you, you just said you're going to go with backup. To the gas station, and you just went to the sleepover instead. Sounds pretty dirty to me. No, I'm not saying you're a dirty cop. I'm just saying, Jeffy, you can't invite a cop to a sleepover because he's busy. He has a job. Like, like, don't you have duty? Uh, no, I already went, and I, I went peepee -pee too. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a that's a cop poop joke. <laughs> you, you should appreciate that. Je Jeffy, look, look, he's a really busy man, and he has like donuts to eat or something. Oh, oh, don't you have ravioli or something to eat, fat? <laughs> Fine, Jeffy. If you want to have a sleepover with him, you can have a sleepover. But what are you going to do in your stupid sleepover? Pillow fight! Pillow Have you had enough? Look, look, look. You guys are only hitting me. How about you hit each other? Uh, okay, yeah. Bring it on, tough guy. Uh, 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 Officer guy, where the are you? We're getting massacred out here. Please respond. Uh, uh, Officer down! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a hilarious episode. This is freaking hilarious. Uh, ouch! Uh. I'm the pillow fight champion of the world! Alright, Jeffy, you had your stupid pillow fight. Now, what do you want to do during your sleepover? Tell scary stories. What, scary stories? I don't know any scary stories. Do you know any scary stories? Oh, yeah, I got a really good one. Okay, so this one time I was buying Cheez Its from a vendor. Yeah, it's freaking, it's a real, it's a real story, actually, it's a real story. Wait, is this an animation? Ding machine, right? So I walk up to the machine, I put my one dollar bill in, and I push B2, because that's the button for Cheez-Its, and I love Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, it's gonna be a good day, I'm gonna enjoy this bag of Cheez-Its, and then the machine starts moving, it starts making noise, this is gonna be amazing, right? And then the machine, it's pushing those Cheez-Its toward me, and I'm like, yes, come to Papa, come to Papa, and right as it's about to drop, it gets stuck. Wait, it gets stuck? It gets stuck. The cheese. Out of all the stories, because he, you know, he's a police officer, they have to have crazy stories. But of all these stories, that's the one you decide to tell. It gets stuck right between the glass and the shelf. And they're not dropping, they're not moving, and my mouth goes, because I just can't believe this. So I start pounding on the machine. And I start shaking the machine. And then I remember, if the machine falls on you, you can die. So I yeah, it'll, it'll crush you. Yeah, it will. So I stop shaking the machine. And then I go and I ask my buddy Joe for some money, right? And I've already asked him for money tons of times. And he gives me a dollar and quarters, okay? And I'm thinking, yes, this is perfect. I needed exactly a dollar. I'm going to go back to that machine. So I walk up to the machine. And I put each of those quarters into the machine. And I'm thinking, this is going to be amazing. How freaking long does the animation go on for? So... He can't get the cheese it, so is he gonna try to get another thing of him, I guess? And then, uh, much to my surprise, the coins just drop, and they fall right into the change return slot. I'm thinking, oh, what's going no. on? And then I notice, I notice the machine is broken. It doesn't even have an out of order sign on it. The, the, the change is just dropping right down. It's not even accepting coins. No, it's just accepting bills, that's right. So I don't have any more bills, and I can't ask Joe for any more money, it's not gonna work. You can, go, you can go find a random person on the street and ask if they have changed for a dollar. You know, if they have a dollar bill, and you can give them the dollar and quarters. So, I'm ready to give up, right? And I'm just walking away. And then all of a sudden, I see behind me, this kid comes up to the machine, and then he puts his dollar in, and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. What, he hit B2? He hit B2, and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. His bag of Cheez-Its and my bag of Cheez-Its that I paid for. Well, what'd the kid do? I've been annoying. Uh, the kid, I walk back over to the kid, right? And I say, hey, kid, that's my bag of Cheez-Its. And he says, no, no, it's not. I paid for this. And I said, I, I, I don't think you understand. You see, you paid for your bag of Cheez-Its, and you got my bag of Cheez-Its free because I already put my money in, and it didn't give it to me. And he's not buying it. He doesn't care. 
What, what does he do? Arrest him or something? Yeah, right. And he's saying, you're just a grumpy old man. Go away. So I lose my temper a little bit, and I start putting my hands on the kid. You know, I, I think you understand where I'm coming from, right? I'm just, like, I'm <laughs> grabbing the kid. And I, uh, this guy took a turn. Where is this going? Where is this going? I, I'm strangling him just a little bit, to be honest. And then his mom comes around the corner, and she sees this, right? And she... What, uh, what, what's with her mama's eyes? She freaks out. She thinks I'm just some crazy cop abusing my power. So, then, I have to explain to this woman, Listen, you stupid punk kid stole my bag of cheeses. Well, it's not his. They were yours. Exactly, exactly. And I'm trying to tell her that, but she's not buying it. She's just thinking I'm crazy, and she's what, not what? listening to anything I'm saying, right? So she decides she... Why are her eyes, like, tinted red? Why are they... Why? Come on, now. She decides to call my boss. What are your boss? My boss. And so she's, talking, she's like, one of your what? officers here is harassing my son and trying to steal cheese its from him. And so I snatch the phone away from her and I say, Chief, you know me. You know how, how much I love my cheese its Please, please <laughs> tell this crazy bitch and her kid that I'm just trying to get my cheese its It keeps going and on says, and on. Just leave it alone. So I hang up on him. And then I start to smell just a little, just a little whiff of on the mom. Uh, okay, that explains, that explains everything, but I'm gonna have to censor that. Just, just a little bit. And then, and then, and then I start arresting the mom. And so then, the kid goes into foster care, and guess who gets two bags of Cheez-Its? Who? Me. I get two <laughs> bags of Cheez-Its. Two delicious bags of Cheez-Its. So I go back to my car. And I go back in, and I, I, I sit in there, and I turn on some Bon Jovi, and I'm, I'm singing while I'm eating the Cheez-Its. I'm singing, oh, we're halfway there. Damn. No, 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 no. Living on a prayer. I'm, just, I'm chugging these Cheez-Its, right? I'm just downing them. I'm pouring them right down my throat. Just, ah. Wait, this must be like a horror story, isn't it? I mean, the fact that you arrested some uh, kid's mother, then the kid went into foster care, I mean, that is pretty terrifying. I won't lie. But I don't think that is exactly a classic uh, sleepover story. Sorry. Like a dinosaur, I'm getting crumbs in my mustache and seat, and I don't even care. And then, in under a minute, I've eaten the entire bag of Cheez-Its. The entire bag? The entire bag. And I start getting sad. And then I remember, I don't have to be sad. You, you have another why? bag? Why? Because I got another <laughs> bag of Cheez-Its. And then I just, I uh, just pour them right down my mouth. I just start chugging those cheesy chips. It is delicious, and I'm loving it. And to that day, to this day, that was the best bag of Cheez-Its I have ever had. And I always keep an extra dollar on me, just in case. So yeah, that's the scariest story I know. And I know <laughs> what you're thinking. I mean, how is a story about Cheez-Its scary? But, you know, you never know what life's gonna give you. One minute you get no bags of Cheez-Its, next minute you get two bags of Cheez-Its, you're in foster care and your mom's in jail. You just never know. <laughs> and you never want to get between a cop and his Cheez-Its. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. What a crappy sleepover. <laughs> What am I going to do tonight? Let's see. Uh, you guys still there? G guys? Well, I guess I'm off duty. Uh, whatever. That was freaking nuts. That was a, uh, a very crazy story, to say the least. A very crazy story. And I was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, I was expecting Jeffy to go have a sleepover with Cody and Junior. But yeah, what happened to them? Because they went to a sleepover. I want to know what went down there. And I, I want to see Cody's freaking house. Cause I've never seen Cody's house before. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. This is very funny. And if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Possibly share with a friend. If you do, subscribe to the family. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to Super Luigi Logan and Super Mario Logan. The link's in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Boop.